Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple method that I use to integrate forms with payments so that you can take more information along with a payment. I did another video on adding PayPal buttons to your website, and that's actually a popular way for people to take payments uh, really easily on the website, and that would be good for maybe you know, a $50 payment for a product or a service where you don't need to get a lot of information with it besides name, email address, and you know the basics. If you wanna take a longer form, um, like if you're doing an event, for example, and you need to take the payment, but you also need a lot of information with the payment, I'm gonna show you a good way to do that. And it'll be like this form that I did for a client where he's taking a lot of information like t-shirt sizes, um, how did you hear about us, spouse information. So I'm gonna show you how to do a more intricate form like this using Gravity Forms. That's a plugin for WordPress and keep in mind this is not a free option. You will need to use the pro version of Gravity Forms which is currently $159 per month. So you can get more information about Gravity Forms at gravityforms.com and again it is a premium form plugin for WordPress. Uh, if we look at the pricing you can get a basic license for $59, but in order to integrate PayPal payments, you're gonna need the basic add-ons, which is under the pro license for $159 per year. You get the PayPal payment standard, which is what we're gonna use in this case. I sometimes use it with Stripe, uh, which is another payment processor, but that's part of the elite level add-ons, which is $259 per year. So once you have access to Gravity Forms, you can actually go ahead and purchase that license through my affiliate link uh, below the video. Uh, and I'll get a small commission for that. It helps me to do these videos, so I appreciate it very much. So once you get access to Gravity Forms, you can download the plugin from there, and you'll, you're gonna need to install the Gravity Forms plugin. And you're also gonna want to download and install the add-on for the Gravity Forms PayPal standard add-on and you're gonna get both of those um, through your Gravity Forms uh, website login after you purchase. So once you install Gravity Forms, you're gonna have this Forms uh, menu in the WordPress dashboard, and you can create forms uh, here. I'm not gonna go through all the details of creating forms within Gravity Forms, because that's not what this video is about. This video is more about integrating your form with a payment processor, uh, in specifically PayPal in this case. So I created this form with all these fields, um, name, email, phone, spouse information, years married. This is like an anniversary type event. So they need to get t-shirt sizes. how did you hear about this event? So all kinds of information. And then I need to integrate PayPal. And the way I do that is with a product name, a product field, they call it. And so you find that under pricing fields on the right and you drag a product, which I already did and I gave it a price of $75. I also need a total field. And I put a description that says to be paid via PayPal on the next screen. So now if we look at this form, which is live on the website, here's all the fields I just showed you and the total and it's pulling the total from the product. Um, so like you could add multiple products and have conditional logic in this form, but this one's pretty simple with just a single product, $75. The total is automatically calculated and it's just grabbing that $75. So it displays the total. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill out all this information as a test. I'll pause the video, click submit, just to show you how that works. And actually before I do that, I need to show you a few other steps to make the link between the form and PayPal. So for that, we're gonna go into settings under forms, which in WordPress, which is again, the Gravity Forms menu. And under settings, since I have the PayPal add-on installed, I'm gonna click PayPal. And you're gonna to need to follow these instructions here to set the IPN settings so that everything works properly. But if we go back to the form now, and under settings here, there's a few ways to get here, but here's one way you uh, scroll over settings and then I'll see PayPal. And it creates what's called a, f a feed, a payment feed. In this case, it's a PayPal feed. And I already created this one, but I'll go in and edit it so you can see. 
um, I add the name of it, uh, the PayPal email address, which is what links it to the PayPal account. Transaction type in this case is just products and services. You could also do donations and subscriptions. The payment amount is a field on the form, and in this case, it's form total. So you can also map billing information to PayPal, uh, and that's gonna speed up the process, like the first name and email is all we're doing in this form. There's some other options here that I'm not using, and you can click update when you're done, and that's gonna save the feed, uh, which is going to connect PayPal to your form. There is a to toggle button here, to turn it on and off, so make sure it's on, which it probably will be by default. So now I'm going to go back to the form. I filled out all the required fields and I'm going to click submit and let's see what happens. So if everything is correct on the form, I had to fix a few errors there. It redirects me to the PayPal page where I can then log into PayPal to pay or pay with a debit or credit card. So my website client in this case will get an email from Gravity Forms according to the settings we have on the form. He'll get the form information. Um, it is possible someone could complete the form and then for some reason not complete payment, uh, but they're directed right to the payment. Um, so, you know, most people will complete that. So he'll get a notification from PayPal of the payment and he'll also get an email notification from Gravity Forms. One nice thing about using like the Stripe payment processor with the elite level Gravity Forms is you could have the credit card information entered right here and then the person submits and pays all in one click. But when you're using the free version of PayPal uh, called PayPal Standard, you do have to redirect people to PayPal after um, they click submit here. So that's one option for having a form connected to PayPal payments on your website. It is something I've used on multiple sites. So I think it's a pretty good solution. There's definitely other methods out there. So if there's any you like to use, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If uh, you're interested in having me build one of these forums for you, uh, I do have a developer license for Gravity Forums and I, I could give you a price on doing that so that you don't have to purchase the uh, plugin yourself. So feel free to contact me and uh, depending on the timing, I may or may not be able to help you out. So if you think the simpler PayPal button option might be a good option for you, I'll link to that video here and you can check that out next. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.